Groundbreaking research is to be undertaken at the University of the Free State, South Africa, by wildlife researchers Francois Deacon and Nico Smith in the Kalahari region bordering Namibia and Botswana. Since little research on giraffes in arid regions is known, this project will investigate the giraffe population in the arid Kalahari region to foster decision-making that will benefit nature conservation, like relocation of animals and human tourism alike in a holistic manner. The total number of giraffes in Africa was estimated by IUCN in 1999 to exceed 140,000, of which 40% were in or around protected areas and private lands, and such numbers were thought capable of being maintained where they are adequately protected. Current estimates by the GCF have the population at less than 80,000 individuals across all subspecies. This is a considerable drop in the last decade and shows that the plight of giraffe is in real danger. This is the first project ever to design and manage GPS collars for giraffe through satellite tracking and eight giraffe have already been equipped with these specially designed collars. Data will be gathered on home ranges, seasonal movements, human or giraffe interaction zones, migration routes and duration of migration in a very cost-effective way. Knowledge was gained from a pilot study launched in 2011 on how to best design and fit the collar onto giraffe to ensure that the animal is comfortable and that the collar will last in the wild. The GPS collars enable us to record the location of individual giraffe for up to two years with readings 24-7 irrespective of weather conditions. The accuracy and also the amount of data will enable scientific publications and research-related articles. Catching a giraffe takes an extraordinary level of skill, planning and teamwork. We are all wildlife biologists or veterinarians and are used to working with wild animals. We are trained in using everything from helicopters and dart guns to special equipment such as GPS collars. This catching process can be really dangerous since a kick from a large giraffe could easily land you in hospital. That's why we use special medicated darts to temporarily tranquilize a giraffe to fit the collar. They are extremely strong animals but can just as easily die. But if you work with experienced veterinarians and a game capture team, you minimize the risks. Findings obtained from the study will address matters like the current status of giraffe populations in Southern Africa, adaptation success of relocated giraffe, the impact of these animals on the vegetation gathering information on seasonal movements and on social and population dynamics. Such actionable data obtained will therefore improve decision-making, planning and management of the animals and the environment. In general, this project running over four years will have the following spin-offs. Informed ecological decision-making, improved sustainability, broader applicability, tourism development, education and community involvement, improved collaboration and focus on the future of giraffe in arid areas, Research benefits and international cooperation for the UFS. It is envisaged that data collection from the GPS collars and field excursions, two weeks every month, will take place in the first two years. While data processing and analysis will culminate in an academic PhD thesis and the publication of scientific articles in accredited journals in year three to four of the project. In order for the project to be executed, Funding to the amount of 589,000 Rand will be needed. This includes the cost for more collars, one collar being 25,000 Rand, excluding the fitting process and tranquilizing costs, monthly service costs of the collars, veterinary services, where we always make use of two specialized wildlife veterinarians, field work and transport, amongst other project-specific costs. Donators who participate in this project will receive the following benefits for their donation. Media exposure in academic publications, popular publications and the electronic media and exposure on all project material. Additionally, they will receive quarterly progress reports, a social responsibility contribution and possible tax benefit in case of donation. The following three types of donations are available. Gold, donations in excess of 100,000 Rand. Silver, 
50,000 rand to 100,000 rand, and bronze, less than 50,000 rand. A special benefit is reserved for golden donors. They could have the option to be present and observe the coloring of the animals and visit the giraffe accompanied by the researcher on excursions. If we do not conserve the future for our giraffe, who will do it? Two of the nine subspecies are already endangered with numbers below 250 individuals. We cannot allow for the species to become extinct if we could have done something about it in the past. With this project, I really feel I'm doing my bit to save the species. I wish everyone could come and experience this unique uh, compassion I have for giraffe.